Hello, my name is John Cashew Rice. I am the founder of the Professional NLP Practitioner. How have you been this week? I've been letting out my inner geek. I have been to Comic Con in London, well, a few days ago now, and it's been great fun. You should see the wonderful costumes and the effort people put in to attend that event. It was excellent. So I've been hanging out with the likes of the Hulk and Iron Man, Spider-Man, Batman. It has been a lot of fun. And as you'll see on screen, some embarrassing pictures just to show me letting out my inner geek. So what are we talking about this week? We're exploring the excitement of goal setting. So what do we mean by the excitement of goal setting? It may not be what you think. So it can be dangerous to get too excited about goal setting. Yes, we've all heard, aim for the stars, and if you don't hit the stars, you'll hit the moon. Have those great, big, outrageous goals. And you know what? I think we should have those. But they are dangerous sometimes. What do I mean by that? So, let's explore the excitement of goal setting. Let's say you decide to yourself, all right, this month is when I start to build my online empire. So I'm gonna create passive income from the, on, from the internet. So I'm gonna, uh, let's say, set a goal of a hundred pound a month extra income. Well, actually a hundred pound a month, probably a little bit too easy, so let's, let's say 500 pound a month. Well, if I can make 500 pound a month, why not a thousand pound a month? Yeah, that would be doable. So if I set a goal for a thousand pound a month, and if I'm going for a thousand pound a month, why not 5,000? Well, if I'm going for 5,000, it easily could generate 10,000 pound a month, and if that, Maybe I could aim for £50,000 a month. And you get all excited about it, and then nothing happens. You might have had that experience when you go, right, I'm going to lose a few pounds. Maybe my goal is to lose a couple of pounds this month. Well, if I'm going to go on a diet, let me aim a bit bigger. Maybe if I should aim for, say, £5. But I reckon I could do probably do a stone. I've got a so two or three stone to lose, so ooh, let's go. In the next month, I'm gonna learn, lose two stones. Wow, how exciting is that? You've gotta have so much more energy, you have got to be fitter, healthier, and all those wonderful things that come from that. And then what do you do? You reward yourself with some chocolate cake, i.e. nothing seems to change. So what's going on? Well, when we hit a goal threshold, and it's different for different people, a gold threshold, we become overwhelmed at what needs to happen now. Mm. And then what normally happens is nothing. The danger is also from that, it's not that nothing happens, you actually slip back. So the weight loss becomes a little bit of a weight gain. The online money building opportunities cost you more money and you start to spend more money. So sometimes the smart thing to do is to build your goal setting muscles. And what I mean by that is set yourself just a little goal, achieve the little goal. So if you can achieve earning your first 10 pounds online by selling something, it's a start. So once you've sold one, you could probably then sell a couple more and then you build up, you build up, and you gain momentum. And in that momentum, something magical happens. Goals become naturally bigger and bigger, and you find yourself riding the light beam to the stars. So I'd love to hear what's worked for you from your goal setting point of view. What's worked against you? For example, have you become excited about your goals so much that they grew and grew, and then nothing happened? Share your examples with me. Also, coming up is the NLP Practitioner. If you haven't taken your NLP Practitioner, the time is now. Click the link below for more information about the NLP Practitioner. Give us a like, all those wonderful social media things you need to do. Leave us a comment, share your insights into what's worked and what's not working with goal setting for you. Until next time, have a wonderful week. And I'm off to let out my inner geek just a little bit more. It's good fun. Take care then. See you soon.